You need to get shirtless and start shitting out dead shrimp immediately. I'll throw myself in front of another car. <laughs> <laughs> Never liked anything crawling up his anus. Um, Sweet spice heroin. Dang, okay. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. We're here to discover the hidden gems of Salt Lake City. One just walked past. <laughs> what are the secrets of people in Salt Lake City? Do you guys want to tell us any secrets? We're from Rhode Island. That is a secret. No one knows about Rhode Island. You have such cool eyes. Very striking. I've got the hard-hitting questions. What's your favorite disease? Oh. I've got the stoic personality. I've got the dog. <laughs> Would you rather have to eat one giant live shrimp every day or have three dead baby shrimps come out of your asshole every day? Hmm. Have three dead baby shrimp come out your butthole. I would say eat the live shrimp would be preferable. Probably eat the one. Really? Yeah. But it's alive and the other ones are dead. I don't like things out of the butthole. But a lot of, <laughs> a lot of things come out of your butthole. I they know. don't have to go in. Do either of you have an entertaining, embarrassing story that you're willing to tell on oh, camera? Oh, hell to the yes. <laughs> Let's hear it. Mine is uh, the other day, this guy started giving me some hard liquor and I got too drunk and fucking I got knocked the fuck out. Usually I'd knock motherfuckers out, but this time I got knocked out, so I was like, oh. oh. Yeah. This time you That's were the one yeah. hitting the floor. Yeah. Me too. That's usually me. That's uh -huh. embarrassing right there. Uh, okay. I, I haven't grown since I was 13. Okay. That's very interesting. I think that the baby shrimps out my butthole is preferable. That would be preferable to you? Yes, it you know, absolutely. We all have our own taste, a special sexual taste. It's so true. To think about the direction, because if they were going to crawl up into the anus, that's, that's not good for me. But if they're coming out, I'm used to that direction. Oh, that is true. Uh, I still think I'm going to go with eating the live. Okay, he's going to eat the live shrimp and not have shrimp come out of his asshole. I've never liked anything crawling up my anus, so that's why I would prefer to go down. Yep. Never liked anything crawling up his anus. Um, this does is that make me weird? No. Oh. I don't want to be a freak on video. Yeah, actually, it does kind of make you a freak. I think most people like things crawling up their anuses. Oh, okay. You need to get shirtless and start shitting out dead shrimp immediately. That's... <laughs> I can't... What's your favorite disease? Oh. Karma. Oh, shit something that's quick and painless. I actually thought bubonic plague is my favorite disease just because it's there's a lot of things coming out of a lot of different holes and that feels exciting but at the same time it's obviously very violent you know. Are you guys like a true crime channel or something? No. Oh. <laughs> no. I just felt like you two looked like you'd have a favorite disease. I don't know. Yeah. My least favorite name on planet earth is Morton. What's yours? It's probably Throckmorton. Oh, oh shit. shit. What's your name? My name is Morton Gottlieb. <laughs> <laughs> oh! God, Jesus, help us. <laughs> I don't think she flipped me off. Really? <laughs> hey, just smoke a lot of crack. Kids everywhere, please start smoking a lot of crack. Weed, spice, heroin. Dang, okay. No, don't, don't do that. Never mind, no, don't, don't, don't do any of that stuff. Just uh, drink water. Just drink water. Do you think that we should change chicken breasts to be called chicken titties? Yeah. 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 Yes. <laughs> and if hot dogs are going to be wieners instead of pe you know what? Right? There is a movement right now to change chicken breasts to chicken titties. Definitely yes. Uh, it just sounds better. Like, if I'm going out with my friends, I'm like, oh my gosh, let's go get some chicken titties. Well, would you call a wiener dog a penis dog? Yes, I would. Or like a dick dog. Oh, okay. Okay. Something else that I learned recently is that snakes can have virgin births. Do you yeah. have an opinion about that? Did you know that snakes can have virgin births? And how do you feel about that? Like, it's very religious, you know? It's given very much like Virgin Mary. I didn't know that, so I'm gonna need to process that, but that's that's pretty extraordinary. It is rare. Like, it's not your regular snake. So they look snake. at human beings and they look at our religious ideas and they're like, hey, this is no big deal to us. This happens all the time. Exactly. They're like, it's oh. kind of embarrassing. <laughs> like, and it made me question, is this possible for me? But maybe. Yeah, but I don't think God would choose me if there was gonna be another virgin birth because probably because I'm not a virgin But I don't know <laughs> There are a lot of Mormon people here, which is fine I don't have anything against it, but I don't want to disturb their peace and I that's kind of my thing You know what I mean? Like it's kind of my whole thing Because I disturb the peace. You never know. There's people are born again virgins, so I could right, try. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, your secret's safe with me. Okay 
If you could not die peacefully, how would you prefer to die? I guess getting hit by a car because you least expect it and it hurts. How would you want to die? Oh, I already picked this long ago. Skydiving. <laughs> You would just fall to the earth and die. I crumble. straight up would tell people my body physically will not be good past like 70 years old. You gotta get hit really hard then. I'll throw myself in front of another car. <laughs> You're just going down the street. <laughs> Boom. That's the only option. Wow. But I do feel like being smushed in general would be a good way to go, but it'd have to be a quick smush. Like killing a mosquito. Exactly. The most humane of ways, really. Uh -huh, of course, like we don't mean it. Can't give euthanasia to like a mosquito. It'd just be too much. It'd just be way too much. Would you guys rather be a big bitch or a little bitch? I'm gonna be a biggest bitch. I'm a chiquita. Ch okay. I'd kinda rather be a big bitch. What is a little bitch? If you had to explain. Little bitch. I'll just go. <laughs> I don't think yeah. I want to be the biggest bitch. I just, I'm not a fucking bitch at all. I am a fucking bitch. Well, what advice do you have for me as someone who identifies as a bitch? Get some balls. Grow some testicles. I've tried, but I just get hemorrhoids. What is your favorite crime? Oh boy. You can pick anything. There's no limit to the best crime. Anything that sticks it to the man. Ooh. Justice for like animals, especially. I don't, oh, yeah, you know. Too. Okay, so like a revenge crime. Is there anyone that you hold a grudge against? Say their name and address so we can. Uh. You do. Who pissed you off? I'll beat the fuck out of them. Let's see. Do you have anything that you want to admit to? No. Okay. Do you have an embarrassing story that you're willing to share? I was drunk coming off of an airplane where they had cut me off and Ooh. I tried to pretend to the authorities that I had a prosthetic leg. No. So I had a crush mm. that didn't reciprocate what I was giving him. I'm gay. Okay. Okay. He was just giving mixed signals. I no longer have a grudge towards this person, but at the time I did. That's good. You're in a very healthy place. Yeah. Like Which animal is the worst animal? Uh, freaking slugs. I thought you said sluts. Well, those two. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we love a slut. Okay, what advice would you have for anyone who's down bad then? Ooh. There are some people who are who come into your life but aren't really meant to be in your life. They're just there as a life lesson. And so take I'm gonna that. tear up. Yeah. I had a slug fall on my shoulder once and I cried. Kidding. <laughs> Who are you? It worked. Holy hell. I love the way you're dressed. I love your energy. I love the color green. I'm I feel like we're united. What piece of advice do you guys have for old men? It's not always about you. We're don't kinda... step into the frame unless your shirt's off, but just kidding. Just kidding. Please don't. I just learned how to play poker like literally a week ago. Yeah, it's, it's an important skill to have. It is, but actually I had a bunch of people enticing me into playing strip poker, which seems to be the theme of this conversation. Right. I'm not really into stripping down and taking your clothes off, but it's been, it happens in well, my life. There's some kind of risk involved, right? Exactly. Yeah. And I don't have any money, so. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you gotta do. I feel great. Yeah, Thank you I'm for glad this. You, I'm glad you do. Yeah. And I, and I hope you feel great, too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>